I gave a friend my bank card, told him to buy me a six pack of spray cans and when I'm done I can find in this closed envelope the answer about how they would have used the same colors. But before I actually check the colors I'm gonna use this cheap spray paint to do the sketch with. Already feels like the H is a lot bigger than the C. Making this one a little bit higher and then the bottom a little bit lower. I'm totally not happy with the H. I think it's too, too far to the right. So right now there's a bit of a gap between the H and the U but what I wanted to do is I wanted to give it a 3D which is overlapping the next letter. This part is pretty easy to understand but this? I'll figure it out. These are the colors and they put the cans upside down so I still can't even see the donuts of these cans. All I know is that these cans should be MTN hardcore cans. So the first one is a beige looking color. The second one dark green orange. <laughs> this is already a combination like bright yellow. This is a nice color. A lighter green and this is blue so there's not even black or white in this set but that should not be a problem it's time to figure out how i'm gonna use these a little later the first thing i'm thinking about is using this as the outline oh my god they really planned on giving me a hard time i think much 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 later right now i really want to shoot the person that chose these colors so this is the outline and I'm gonna fill up the 3D with this one. And then I feel like doing this as the, back, as the background. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna change the blue and the orange. So blue is gonna be in the fill-in and orange is gonna be the background. So these three colors are gonna be the fill-in. Okay, so that's how I'm gonna do the fill-in. When I just saw the color set for the first time, I really did not like it. And right now, I'm pretty much able to imagine how the final result is gonna look like. So I think it's all gonna be okay and maybe even gonna look pretty fresh. It's time for the 3D. Ready, done and I left the ones on the bottom of the letters open because I want those to be the dark green so for the background I saved this orange and I think it's looking super bright and now that I painted this so far all the colors are pretty soft although the yellow is pretty bright of course but the orange is gonna scream so I'm just gonna make a background but I'm gonna keep it very very small And last but not least, the outline with the dark green. I'm gonna paint this piece with the corners round. So let's see if I can outline this letter in one go. The trick in doing this is to move your whole body and not just your hands. 
I want the outline to be a little bit fatter. Uh, I think it's gonna be looking a little bit more sloppy now. But it I didn't expect to have still enough paint left because it already feels like really empty over here I have the envelope let's find out how they would have used the colors background orange I did the same fill in element green and light yellow light yellow oh they would have used this for the fill in the outline Amazon green, highlight, unicorn yellow. I used it as a fill-in and I chose to not do a highlight this time. But if I had to pick one color, it would have been this one. And the second outline, Himalaya blue. That's this one. I also chose to use this one in the fill-in. This was actually pretty fun to do. And I must say that I'm happy with the piece. 